Hello, Namaskar. Welcome to another episode of the Ink Happiness. We have today with us a friend of ours uh, who is sitting just there, but uh, who doesn't want to come on, as you know, come on camera. And he has a request. He is coming here straight from Penn Hospital where he has bought two pens uh, that he wants to gift to his lady love on her birthday. But before uh, giving this pens to her, he wants me to try them out, to ink them, uh, to prime them up so that, you know, she can start off writing all the things that he expects she will write with those pens to him and as is normal and natural he cannot wait to get those letters or so he's got the pens straight after buying them <clears throat> now these are the two pens that he has bought uh, Chinese pens this is a Jin Hao this I don't know what make it is because nothing is written on the barrel or on the clip or on the cap and uh, on the ring here uh, there's something in Chinese and the words 520 so I, 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 I honestly don't know what it means but uh, and on the um, uh, on the nib there's a design but it's so faint and my eyesight is also not what it used to be. So I cannot uh, make out what is written. Uh, on the face of it, both the pens look good. They look good. I don't want to get into a situation where we uh, get drawn into what this originally was or this originally was or what it was called or what it was who made it first and stuff like that whether it's a replica whether it's a copy whether it's a knockoff we don't want to get into that we will look into pens as they are <clears throat> at the end of the day this is a young gentleman who has used up all his savings to buy these pens for his lady love so how does it matter what make is this? It's the love that matters. It's the love that will uh, make these pens uh, cherished items. Uh, and I, 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 I am sure you all get the drift. What we will do is we will ink up these pens in front of you. We will write with them and we will... Uh, I won't say pass judgment because that to me is a very harsh way of saying it. We will generally be discussing about this pens. Now there's another thing that I want to tell you. I've been meaning to uh, share this with you for a long time but somehow it misses, uh, I mean somehow I don't ever get to, I've not got to uh, saying it in the past. What I want to say is that it's not fair. It's not fair on our behalf, and I, I, I stand corrected for this, is uh, to take a pen, any pen for that matter, dip it in or fill it up with ink, write a uh, few lines, scratch and draw those eight uh, signs and then say whether it's a good pen or a bad pen or uh, things like that. It's it's not fair. It's not fair. Just like when you... Uh, oh well, okay, first impressions do count, but the first impression should never be the last impression, even if it ends up being a lasting impression. I hope uh, you get the drift. The point that I'm trying to say is that, you know, one has to write with a pen for a long time to understand the nuances of the pen, to give the pen 
enough time to settle in your hands so that the pen can also make you your own the way you are making the pen uh, your own because it's 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 like a relationship it's like uh, it's like friendship uh, you cannot just walk into a room meet someone for the first time in your life and be friends for the rest of your lives it happens i mean <clears throat> but uh, i guess for friendship to develop uh, you need time you need to know each other you need to feel each other you need to be comfortable uh, in each other's companies you need to uh, you need to grow together just the way uh, a pen grows on you you know for example this particular pen i have this for many many years how many years i don't remember i uh, i have been writing with it for many years and i know how this pen feels i know where the sweet spot is i know how hard i can push it and now uh, i know it to an extent that it comes naturally you know the it's like music being made together when uh, we work in harmony so so it's it's not right to take any pen uh, out of the closet or out of the box and you know dip it in ink and write and say ah this is a good pen ah that's a bad pen that's terrible the, i don't like the feedback the feedback that you don't like may be something that you'll cherish many years later the you know the softness the smoothness the buttery feeling that a pen gives you uh today on a different paper uh may you know turn you absolutely off tomorrow i mean it's it's happened to me it keeps happening to me all the time so it's it's not right to say that this pen is good just after uh, you know uh, some cursory writing some desultory firing so what i suggest is give a pen a chance give piece a chance similarly give the pen a chance give it a chance to understand you to mold itself to your writing habits and vice versa when i say vice versa i mean that give your hand some time to to take the finer nuances to understand the quirks of that particular pen and to uh, suitably mold your writing around it so that together you can create music but uh, too much of gan shan uh, i won't get into that let's let's fill this up and uh, i have been requested by my friend there and as as i'm talking to you he's looking at me with a, a you know huge smile on his face and uh, he has requested that i fill this up for some inexplicable reason i fill this up with pink ink so i've got the pink fantasy from swaraj and he wants the sulekha permanent ink in this ink uh, in this pen so i've got the sampurna here so what we will do is we'll fill this pen up and uh, we will show you writing samples and uh, we will take it forward from there on uh, this uh, as you can see has a uh, you know filling system that's distinct from a cartridge converter it has a piston filling system and it looks good i mean the pink ink <coughs> when i fill it up it oh wow see look at the pink ink as desired by my friend now this is another very interesting thing uh, i mean i was expecting this there would be a lock 
at the uh, when the piston when the uh, barrel is filled with ink i believe there was a lock in one of those pens where it locks so that originally it was made uh, with a view that when you are carrying this pen in a uh, plane your ink will not leak <clears throat> but this doesn't uh, have a lock or maybe i don't know how the locking mechanism works uh, I'm, i'm i'm seeing this pen for the first time uh, let us fill up the other uh, pen this is the jinao i believe we have uh, done a video on this particular pen before this is a normal cartridge converter pen and uh, first there was lamy then there was kako and then there is jinhao all the three pens look fairly similar but let me ink it up let me ink it up and show you how uh, the writing samples so this is the blue uh shampoona ink from suleka let me ink this up also for you we are ready with the both the pens both have been inked this with uh, suleka shampoona and this with uh, the swaraj range the pink fantasy uh from their swaraj range of inks and we will be showing you writing samples uh with this pens now the point is i hope the lady who for whom these pens are meant and are being sent with a lot of love and affection enjoys writing with this pens i hear that she is also a fountain pen lover like the rest of us uh, out here and uh, I don't know you lady happy birthday I mean is it for the birthday okay so uh, happy birthday my dear friend here's a long here's wishing you a long happy life with many many fountain pens and many bottles of inks and uh, <clears throat> let's hope that you continue to enjoy this wonderful passion of ours and <clears throat> i must also say in the same breath that you are indeed a lucky uh, lady because you don't have friends like this often who buy you fountain pens and uh, who takes who goes to such lengths to uh, wish you on your birthday with a special fountain pen with two special fountain pens and who 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 is crazy enough as a fountain pen enthusiast to come to me to have them tested so that he can get a video done uh, so that he can also send this video along i'm indeed happy to both of you i'm indeed grateful to both of you uh, for giving me this honor and for uh, allowing me to be a part of this happy moment of your life and i on behalf of these two pens would like to and on behalf of the inks these two inks i would like to thank you both of you for uh, giving us the pleasure of being a part of this happy moment of your life and uh, uh thank you and i hope uh, people enjoy this video so if you want this kind of videos i would have been even more happy if this gentleman here were sitting here and dedicating this video to uh, his lady love i would have been even more happy and as a matter of fact it's a very good idea if you want to do it please let us know we can surely work out something of this sort in the future where uh, you sit here uh, on the hot seat and uh, do the talking and you uh, explain to our friends you discuss your pens your inks your writing instruments your uh, paper the paper that you like your accessories to your friends and uh, we can uh, discuss it and take it forward so thank you thank you everyone uh, i don't know what to say i'm overwhelmed by this gesture and i'm so happy 
to be presenting this bench to you. Thank you.